the shadows coming forward. Good all over it, man. What are you doing, Rich? <laughs> well, I've got some dead flowers and I, I hate blowing flowers away. And I just love the fact that there's this beautiful purple tint coming through them. I just thought it was a bit too special to throw away before I photographed it. Fair enough. What have I done for the Oh, it's a bit of an art, that thing. So folks, um, here at All About Photography, we, uh, we hate to waste. So what we've got is a couple of flowers that we used at our macro workshop. And uh, they have since died and they've uh, shriveled up a little bit, but they're still very beautiful and I can't help but make a still life out of them just before we throw them away. Let's see what happens. I'm actually gonna use one of your techniques, Jay. I'm gonna use the live view feature on the camera just so I can get uh, focus. So let's have a look. I'm going to zoom right in. And I'm definitely going to want to have the focus on the front of the flowers. And I'll adjust that up now back into manual focus mode. Isn't that a great trick? Mm. Yeah, terrific. Okay. Zoom back out. I think I'll crop that. I'll try one from that height. That's probably a little more overexposed than what I was going for. So in this case I'm going to change shutter speed because I want to keep that shallow depth of field for effect. Okay, look at the richness in that just compared to that last shot. The exposure has now brought out the, uh, the richness in the colours. And I'm still loving that shadow coming forward from the backlight. I think the only way I could improve this is if I get a little bit lower this time, I think. Let's just move this camera angle down. Change our angle of attack here. And I'd like to use perhaps those shadows as part of a lead-in line for my composition this time. Okay, one more time, I'm going to use that live view feature. At my macro, I'm going to um, open the aperture. I'm sorry, I'm going to slow the shutter speed down just to get it bright enough that I can actually see what I'm looking at. And now I'll zoom in. Main point of focus is the flowers, so I'm going to want to make sure it's nice and sharp there. Face of those buds, or maybe even go a little bit, a little bit more forward. I reckon mate, on the money. Looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to adjust my exposure back down now to where I was because I was happy with that before. Live view down. Shut the speed up. Still too bright. I've lost that richness of the yellow again, so I'm going to go faster again. Do you reckon I could even go lower again here? I, I do like the shadows playing into this as a part of the composition, as part of the story, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe if I move that cloth back so I keep the whole, the whole shadow there. Maybe I'll drop again about another two or three inches. Just moving that forward because the uh, that top leaf is just going out of out of the out of the uh, frame. I'm just going to move the camera angle up just a freckle. Okay, that's getting everything. Alrighty, shutter speed back when we had him, a few hundredth of a second. Slightly darker again, I think, mate. 320. I think that's more what I was looking for. Mm. Much, nice. more, much nicer. And one more just for luck, a little bit more underexposed. 
Great. Nice little still life. Awesome. Well, folks, uh, that was a bit of fun. Thanks for uh, joining us to watch that. Uh, these, unfortunately, are now about to go into the bin.